so this was a study of um, novel uh, molecular approach to staging of aggressive uh, B-cell lymphomas. Uh, these lymphomas, particularly diffuse large B-cell and Burkitt lymphoma, are known to have a risk of a CNS recurrence, which is usually devastating, very difficult to treat. Um, and uh, it's quite difficult to determine which are the patients who are at the highest risk of uh, developing the CNS recurrence. Uh, mostly this related to the overall burden of disease or specific invasion of other extranodal organs. Uh, the current tools are not very accurate. Uh, so uh, we studied um, cerebral spinal fluid or CSF collected at the time of diagnosis from these patients. Um, and we studied uh, the presence of cell-free clonotypic DNA that is uh, unique to each uh, lymphoma, uh, each case of lymphoma, and is derived uh, from the tumor cells. Uh, we initially uh, studied uh, patients uh, who had known uh, CNS invasion, uh, for example, patients with primary CNS lymphoma, just to determine if we can detect this clonotypic DNA in their CSF, and essentially in all cases of either leptomeningeal or even purely parenchymal CNS invasion, we were able to detect the clonotypic uh, sulfur DNA. We then studied 19 patients who did not have any known um, uh, CNS invasion, but were considered to be at high clinical risk. Uh, and among these patients, 42% uh, tested positive on the molecular next generation sequencing assay in the CSF. Uh, among these patients who tested positive, two experienced subsequently a recurrence, uh, and none of the patients who tested negative on this assay uh, experienced a recurrence. All these patients tested negative using standard methods like cytology and flow cytometry. So ultimately, this assay, even though this is very preliminary data, it presents very high sensitivity in picking up patients who are at a high risk of future recurrence, who potentially have some subclinical microscopic disease in the CNS at the time of diagnosis. Um, and uh, it can also, it has <clears throat> high um, negative predictive value, which means if it's negative, then it's quite likely that the patient will not have a CNS recurrence. Uh, this obviously requires validation in a larger cohort and um, also a prospective validation of its therapeutic uh, influence, since all patients in our cohort received standard therapy. But perhaps uh, when used prospectively um, in, in combination with treatment, it could help determine uh, patients who would be best candidates for CNS prophylaxis and potentially for intensified CNS prophylaxis. Since we know that the current methods of doing it using intrathecal therapy and even systemic methotrexate may have limited uh, efficacy.